and uh, yeah. so if you get the chance to travel, yeah. certainly yeah. would, yeah. because yeah. I don't know what the world's like yeah. today, I haven't travelled since 87, so I haven't. There's no need for people to be dirty because they no. would. Yeah. I've seen children today and I would be ashamed if they were mine. Yeah, my lad. But you know, it's been a little kiddie with big nose rock, you know. I've got to do something about it. If you had a job like in those days um, as a coal man, because obviously the coal came on trains and there was coal wars, so everybody had coal delivery over the winter time, and those men at the end of the day would be absolutely black because of the, the, the soot on the coal. And there was no, um, like if you worked in a mine when you finished at the end of the day, there was facilities there for them to wash. I used to live with my auntie for a while because my mum was in hospital. And I could remember thinking, I'm going to stop there the rest of my life. It's so long to be warm because the farm was always up the chimney, you know. And that was always so kind and loving. And I was so happy there. And uh, so I hated my home. I hated my home. And how long was you with your auntie? I came back home, I think, when I was 11, because I passed the 11 floors. So I well, wasn't 11 floors then, but I passed primary school. And my. Um, Auntie wanted to buy the books and all that sort of thing, and my father wouldn't let her because yes. he said she's got to come back home and go to work. So I must have been staying with her when I did that. Oh, so I was I really when I came back home.